Hi, I'm Meg from Evolution Power Yoga and Evolution Go. Today I'll be walking you through a 20 minute workshop about how to meditate, how to get up in your seat, and how to try two different types of meditation, Shra Talk, which is a candle gazing meditation, and a walking meditation. For this workshop, you'll need a yoga mat to sit on, and some type of cushion, either a bolster, a meditation cushion, or even a couch pillow. Let's get started. To get started, let's create your seat for meditation. You wanna pick a space in your house, in your car, or in an office where you can be by yourself for five to 10 minutes. You can sit in a chair if that feels more comfortable for you, but you'll be picking a chair where you can sit right on the edge of the seat and have both feet flat on the floor. If you're sitting on the floor, you'll wanna have some type of cushion, bolster, or pillow to sit on so that your hips are higher up than your knees. Now take a comfortable seat. Get yourself situated down onto your hips and take a few moments to get comfortable. It might be that your initial seat feels comfortable for a few moments and then starts to get really uncomfortable, your feet fall asleep, and that makes it really challenging to meditate. So if you find that the seat that you've taken for the first few moments isn't going to work out, just adjust. Pick a different pillow, pick a different chair, and find a place that's going to be comfortable. Now, with your hips above your knees, sit up tall in your spine. Let each one of the bones in your spine stack one on top of the other, all the way up through the crown of your head. Now rest your hands or your arms anywhere you want on your lap where they feel comfortable. You can set them in your lap, stacked one on top of the other. You can rest them on your knees. Whichever feels best for you, pick that spot. This is really your opportunity to customize the setup of the meditation so that it's easier for you to meditate when you begin. Sit up tall and set your eyes on a point on the floor in front of you, just with a soft gaze, and take a few deep breaths. In through your nose, and out through your mouth. Give your brain the opportunity to settle down into your physical body so that you can get comfortable in your seat. A few more breaths like that. In through your nose, and out through your mouth. One more, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Gently close your eyes and let your breath return to normal. Start to bring your awareness to the sounds around you in the space. Whether that's sitting in your car, or sitting in your office or a place at home, there'll be some type of background noise going on, whether that's kids, other family members, maybe there's a television on in the background. Notice those sounds. It might be that the sounds are closer or further away. There's no need specifically to focus on a sound, to assess it or try and push it away. Right now we're just noticing. Maybe there's a softer sound that's further off in the distance and you notice that as well. With all those sounds going around in the background, bring your awareness back to your physical body, back to your seat. Notice your hips sitting on your cushion or on your chair. And put your awareness to the parts of your legs and feet that are touching the floor. Make a connection to that surface. If a sound in the background happens to distract you, that's fine. Just come back to your seat and the awareness of the physical touching between your body and the floor or your body and the seat. Now bring your awareness to your breath. Notice the air as it's moving in and out through your nose. There's no need to change anything about the breath or make it longer or shorter, we're just noticing. Start to get more specific with the breath. Where in your physical body is the breath moving the most? It might be somewhere across the top of your chest, it might be the size of your rib cage, 
or even deep down in your belly. Again, there's no need to shift where that breath is going. You're just noticing the place that's moving the most in your body while you breathe. Keep that flow of breath going. We'll add on the piece of counting. You'll be counting your breath, one on the inhale and two on the exhale. Three on the inhale and four on the exhale, all the way up to the count of 10. Continue this counting with your breath. And this will give your brain the opportunity to put its attention on one thing rather than being distracted at the sounds or other things going on. You've got one thing to put your awareness on. If a thought or a feeling comes up, totally normal, completely fine. Just come right back to the counting and back to your breath. If you find after a minute or two of sitting here counting your breath that you're getting uncomfortable in your seat, make a point to move and adjust and then settle back to stillness. Keep the attention on that steady, rhythmic breath, counting in on the inhales, counting on your outhales from one all the way up to 10. If you get carried away with a thought or a sound, totally fine. If you lose the count, start back at one, and keep going up through 10. Now let that counting go, and whatever your mind wants to focus on, let it think. Let it bounce around. Keep your breath going. Now start to deepen your breath. Full inhales through your nose that completely expand your lungs. Full exhales that empty your lungs out from the very bottom up and out through your nose or your mouth. This deepening of the breath will start to bring your body back if you've gone somewhere else, right here into this moment. Take one last breath in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. <sighs> Gently open your eyes and set them on that fixed point on the floor. Allowing your gaze and your other senses to take in what's going on in the room around you. And take the last few moments to stretch, maybe reach your arms up overhead. Let your hands come back to your lap. Great job. You just meditated for 10 minutes. Piece of cake.
The next two styles of meditation we'll talk about are walking meditation and shratak or candle gazing meditation. So let's start with walking meditation. You wanna pick a space where you've got a little bit of room to walk like we have here around this coffee table. So it'll probably be in your living room or you might have time to take a walk in the morning as well. You wanna put your attention on your feet, your heels and the ball mounds of your feet walking mindfully from heel to toe as you move through the space. This is different from how we normally walk day to day, walking around without thinking about what our feet and our legs are doing. So all of the attention will be done on your feet and your toes and the connection that they make with the floor. And this gives you the opportunity to come out of the space of your head and down into your physical body so you can move moment by moment. So let's start with that. Come around onto the floor and stand in both of your feet. So your feet will be straight ahead on 12 o'clock and you'll press down firmly into the four corners of both of your feet, your big toe mounds, your pinky toe mounds, and both sides of your heels. Take a few moments to pause here to sink all of your weight down into your feet. When you're ready to begin walking, pick up one foot, start with the heel, and roll slowly to the bottom end of your foot and place your toes down. Then lift the back heel, come up onto the ball of that foot and step it forward, going as slow as you possibly can. Heel all the way through the bottom end of the foot into the toes, then the back heel lifts and you move forward. This may feel a little goofy or even a little awkward at first because we're not used to walking so slowly and mindfully, but this will start to articulate the muscles in your feet and put so much awareness on your feet that you have to pay attention to what's going on in the moment. You can slowly turn and start to make your way around your coffee table or around the piece of furniture that you're walking around. Steady rhythmic breath the whole time that you're moving. One foot to the next. You might find that you can go slow enough that your body gets a little bit wobbly. Get to that point, take a deep breath in and exhale and connect the foot all the way down into the floor. Put your awareness on the texture of what your foot is touching, whether that's a rug or hardwood. Maybe you're walking outside and you're wearing a sneaker. Just steady rhythmic breath as you connect. Heel all the way through to the toes. Then the back heel lifts all the way through to the toes. This is a great alternative for those of you who want to try meditation but have a really hard time sitting still. This will give you the benefits of staying focused on one particular thing that's happening moment by moment and takes out the stress of trying to hold your body still and upright. As the muscles in your feet start to articulate, you might find that walking around or doing your yoga practice with your other daily activities your feet are more awake, they're more alive. There's a sense of energy that runs through your feet so that's really specific about the way that it orients itself to the floor or whichever surface it happens to be touching. So keep that going, that slow, steady pace. Resist the urge to walk super fast and try and get it over with. Stick with just one foot at a time. As this starts to feel comfortable, you might add on the piece of your arms moving with your feet just as slowly. And as humans walking upright, we walk in what's called a contralateral movement. So your arms go the opposite of the way that your feet are walking. So as my left foot goes forward, my right arm goes forward. I shift, left hand goes forward, right foot goes forward. Keep moving in that way slowly and mindfully for a few more breaths. And when you've come to the end of your walking meditation, stand in both of your feet, both feet firmly on 12 o'clock, reconnect the four corners of your feet to the ground. 
We'll take three breaths here. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Get settled down into your feet. Two more like that. Breath in, breath out. One more. Fill up. Full exhale out. Now you've got that new connection between your feet and the earth. The next meditation we'll be focusing on is called Tratak meditation or candle gazing. So what you'll need for this meditation is a block or a book or something that you can set a candle on that's a stable surface and that when you're seated in a chair or on a couch, you can look slightly downward at the candle flame because we'll be focused on that candle flame for the whole meditation. So I'll just take this lighter and get this candle lit and set it on top of this yoga block here. So just set yourself up in a comfortable seat right up on the edge of the couch or the chair so your feet can be flat on the floor. Eyes stay open. Settle them right on the flame of the candle. Take a few breaths to get settled. And as you've got your eyes settled on the flame of this candle, I want you to focus in on the flame of the candle and try not to blink. You're gonna keep your eyes open as long as you can. And when you're just about to blink, close your eyes and focus on the image, the reverse image of the flame on the backs of your eyelids. Go ahead and try that. Stare at the flame. And even as your eyes start to feel dry or it might feel like your eyes are going to water, let that happen. And it'll be different for everyone, but when you feel like, yep, I definitely need to close my eyes now, close them and keep them closed. Focus on that reverse image of the flame and the candle on the back of your eyelids. And when that image, that reverse image starts to fade away, that's when you'll open your eyes again and focus on that flame without blinking. It takes a little practice in the beginning, trying to resist the urge to blink as you're staring at the same thing for an extended period of time. When you need to, close your eyes, focus on the image on the back of your eyelids. And this style of meditation gives you the opportunity to have a point of focus with the eyes open, which makes it a little easier to meditate for some who have trouble closing their eyes and staying focused. Once that image is faded away, open your eyes again, resist the urge to blink, stare right at that flame. Steady rhythmic breath. And close your eyes one more time. Focus on that image, that one point. When that image fades away, open your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Exhale through your mouth. Move your body around any way that you need to. And you're all set. You can take care of your candle. Make sure that you blow it out before you go on with the rest of your day. Stay tuned for more styles of meditation.